So here's the situation that I have here. I have a matrix where I have the years on the left side here, or the rows, and then for the columns I have two different things. I have a filing status, and we have four different types of filing statuses, and then we have uh, six different tax brackets here. And so I want to do something where I can specify three different variables. I can spe specify the year, I can specify the filing status, and I can specify <clears throat> the uh, tax rate, and it'll go and look up the value on that matrix. All right, so uh, I found the answer over here on ExcelJet, and I want to thank uh, David Bruns for this great article. Um, so if you understand Excel, uh, you can give us a read, and it might be a quicker way for you. Um, but you do need to have a little bit of a background in Excel, though, because it does get a little complicated. Um, so you can give that a read. Uh, if not, you can also watch the video, and hopefully I'll explain it in a way that makes sense. So before I give the exact way to do this, I'm going to talk about XLOOKUP, and then I'm going to talk about uh, just a basic index match and how it's used normally, and um, why those aren't going to achieve what I'm trying to do here. So with LOOKUP, a lot of people are familiar with VLOOKUP. Um, XLOOKUP was designed to replace VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, uh, and so that's what this is. <clears throat> and so uh, with XLOOKUP, we're going to be able to define one of one side of this matrix. So we can either define the year that we want it to find or we can define the uh, one the percentage here, but we're not going to be able to do both. So um, if I was to say, all right, let's look up uh, I want to define the year 2020. I'd come down here and I'd say X look up I want to find 2020. Where do we want to find it? We want to find it in this row right here. And then we would have to tell it which of these uh, columns we want it to return the value on. So if we wanted it to return on this one right here every single time and we didn't care about any of these other ones, we could just tell it right there and then that would be fine. And it's returned at 9875.20. But we're not going to be able to like uh, put in a, a rate here and have it change uh, dynamically. So that's what the index match does. So we'll come down here and do index match the index. And we're going to define the array here. And then for the row, we're going to do match. What do we want it to find? We want it to find 2020. We want it to look down this first column right here. And then we're going to say 0. And so that's the row. It's going to return the row number. Uh, and then for the column, we're going to do the same thing, except with the rate. So we're going to have the rate right there. The rate is going to be look. It's going to look through this row right here to find the rate, and then zero. And then we can close off the index. And then let's put uh, the rate of 10%. <clears throat> so that's returned. 9875, which is 10% in 2020. And then if we changed this to 2021, that would change it to 9950. And then we could change the rate here to, let's say, 22%. <clears throat> 86,375. Uh, so that works well when we're doing uh, a variable on each side of the matrix here. In this situation, we have two different variables on one side that we want to define. And so here's how his article talks about how to do this. We're going to come up here to the index, and on the column side here, we're going to change this match around. Uh, so we have three parameters here, the lookup value, the range, and then this one is just telling it to exactly find, find the exact one. So instead of defining these first and second parameters separately, we're going to define both of those in the second parameter. So we're going to delete the first parameter. We're going to put 1 there as the, as the first parameter. And then in the second parameter, we're going to say, uh, what do we want to find first? We want to find the rate equals. And then we're going to highlight the, the row that we want to look through. And I'm not sure that it matters, but I'm going to go ahead and lock the uh, uh, 
the variable there and then close that off right there and then for the second one we're going to use the times like if we were multiplying something and we're going to do the same exact thing except with the other variable so uh, our third parameter is right here we're going to lock that and we want to look through this one up here all right and so we're going to close off the ending parentheses right there and make sure our parentheses are correct and uh, everything looks good so I'm going to hit enter all right and so what we should expect to see is we should expect to see 86,350 on the row and column where HOH 22% meets 2021. <clears throat> Let's come up here, HOH 22%, 2021, 86,350. Now let's test this a little bit. Let's change this to single, 22%, 86,375, that looks good. Let's change the rate to 10%, that looks good. And then if we change the year, say to 2019, that also updated. 